Now we'll talk about how to calculate the bond price. So let's assume that we have three scenarios. In the three scenarios, phase value will be the same, 100, 100, 100. Maturity, it will be the same, three years, three years, three years. Coupon rate will be the same, 10%, 10%, 10% in the three scenarios. Yield to maturity, it will be different. In the first scenario, it will be 8%. In the second scenario, it will be higher, 10%. In the third scenario, it will be higher, which is 12%. Therefore, all the three scenarios are identical except with the yield to maturity. It will change. So let's start with calculating the coupon payment C. What is the formula of coupon payment? It's coupon rate times phase value. In the three scenarios, we have the same coupon rate, which is 10%, and we have the same value, which is 100. Therefore, our coupon amount will be 10% times 100, it will be 10. And our coupon payment will be 10 in all scenarios. Then we need to calculate the bond price. What is the formula of the bond price? We said the formula of the bond price is the present value of ordinary annuity plus the present value of single cash flow. Therefore, the first part for the coupon, it will be coupon multiplied by open bracket one minus open second bracket one plus yield to maturity, close bracket to the bar negative M, close bracket divided by yield to maturity plus phase value multiplied by one plus yield to maturity to the power negative M. So let's substitute for the first scenario. What's our coupon? Our coupon is 10 multiplied by open bracket, one minus one plus yield to maturity, which is 8%, close bracket to the power negative N, which is negative three, divided by yield to maturity, which is 8%, plus phase value, which is 100, multiplied by open bracket, one plus yield to maturity of 8%, close bracket to the power negative three. This will give us 105.15. Let's calculate the bond price for the second scenario, how in yield to maturity is 10%. So we'll say that bond price is equal to coupon amount of 10 multiplied by open bracket, one minus open second bracket, one plus yield to maturity of 10%, close bracket to the power negative three, close first bracket divided by yield to maturity of 10%, plus phase value of 100 multiplied by one plus yield to maturity of 10%, close bracket to the power negative three. This will give us 100. Then let's calculate the bond price for the third scenario. And here we will use exactly the same formula. The only difference is we'll use yield to maturity is 12%. So our bond price is equal to a coupon of 10 multiplied by open bracket, one minus open second bracket, one plus yield to maturity of 12%, close bracket to the power negative three, close bracket divided by yield to maturity of 12%, plus phase value of 100 multiplied by open bracket, one plus yield to maturity of 12%, close bracket to the power negative three. This will give us 95.2. Then we need to make a comparison between yield to maturity and bond price. Check here. Bond price decreases when we increase yield to maturity. So if yield to maturity increases from 8% to 10% to 12%, bond price will decrease from 105.15 to 100 to 95.2. So if we'd like to draw this relationship, we would say that higher yield to maturity would result in a lower bond price. And this makes sense. Why? Because bond price is based on the present value formula. So every time we increase the discount rate, which is the yield to maturity, the present value or the bond price will be lower. So if we draw here our Y axis, which is the bond price in dollars, and our X axis, which is the yield to maturity as a percentage, we will have a downward slope. Why? Because we have a negative relationship between yield to maturity and bond price. Then, once we calculated the bond price at different yield to maturities, we would like to know what will be the bond type for each one of them. So let's make a comparison between phase value and the bond price. So in the first scenario, we have a phase value of 100, but the bond price is higher, is 105.15. So this means that it's traded above phase value. Therefore, it's traded here. The bond price is bigger than phase value, therefore it's traded at a premium. That's why we call it a premium bond. Let's look at the second scenario. Phase value is 100, the bond price is 100, which is the green color. Therefore, our bond price is equal to phase value, therefore it's traded at par, which means the same value. The third scenario, which is the blue one, our phase value is 100, but bond price is lower at 95.2. So this means that the bond is trading at a discount. Therefore, since bond price is lower than phase value, therefore we call it, it's traded at discount. That's why we call it a discount bond. So we know now that we have three types of bonds, which are premium bond, bar bond, discount bond. 
and we can tell if they are premium power discount based on the relationship between bond price and face value. Can we make also another relationship between the two types of interest rates that we have, which is the coupon rate and yield to maturity? Yes, we said, what do we mean by coupon rate? This is the interest rate that we receive. What do we mean by yield to maturity? This is the discount rate, the opportunity cost that we need to sacrifice. Therefore, for a premium bond, our coupon rate is bigger than yield to maturity. So this means that every time we have a premium bond, bond price must be bigger than face value, coupon rate must be bigger than yield to maturity. What about a bar bond? We discover that our coupon rate of 10% is equal to yield to maturity of 10%, which means every time we have a bar bond, bond price must equal to face value and coupon rate must be equal to yield to maturity. What about discount bond? Let's make the relationship between coupon rate and yield to maturity. Coupon rate of 10% is lower than yield to maturity of 12%. Therefore, for all discount bonds, bond price must be lower than face value and coupon rate must be lower than yield to maturity. So, can we reflect it in our graph? Yes, we know that face value is constant here. So, anytime we have a bond price above face value, this is called a premium bond. And for premium bond, it means that bond price is bigger than face value and coupon rate is bigger than yield to maturity. When bond price is equal to face value, Therefore, this is called bar bond, which means bond price is equal to face value, which means coupon rate must equal to yield to maturity. When we have a bond price below face value, this is called a discount bond, which means bond price is lower than face value, consequently, coupon rate is lower than yield to maturity.